Many people feel that an eternal universe is absurd, but ironically it is the only option that is consistent with science and logic to account for the universe. What are the other options to account for the universe? The first option is the one some theists fallaciously ascribe to atheists, which is that the universe was created out of nothing. But this is logically impossible since something cannot come from nothing, as that nothing does not have any qualities or attributes to create anything with or cause anything by. The second option is a theistic option as espoused by religions like Christianity, which is that God created the universe out of nothing, ex nihilo creation. But that is logically impossible as it's the same thing as the prior option, but with the extra element of God added. You still have the same logical impossibility that something cannot be created out of nothing. The theistic option just moves the problem back a step and introduces the further problem of accounting for God as well. Why is it logically impossible for God to have created something out of nothing? It's logically impossible for the same reason that it's logically impossible for a man to create one million dollars out of nothing, or for a magician to create a rabbit out of nothing. It's nothing but fairy tale magic. You can't create out of nothing, or from nothing because nothing has no qualities or attributes to create something out of, with, or by. Further, a being creating something out of nothing is logically impossible because it entails the primacy of consciousness, which is impossible since that contradicts reality and the very nature of facts to be independent of the mind. It is logically impossible for reality to be changed, altered, manipulated, or created by an act of pure will because reality is objective and not subjective. Reality is not subject to the notion that wishing makes it so. Reality is based on objectivity. The primacy of consciousness contradicts objectivity and entails subjectivity. Therefore, the primacy of consciousness can never be true since that entails a logical contradiction that facts are subjective, which is impossible since facts are, by logical definition, objective. The primacy of consciousness entails that facts are facts only as long as a knowing subject wishes them to be so, which means nothing can be a fact on subjective fount, which logically abrogates truth on subjective ground which makes it logically impossible for the primacy of consciousness, metaphysics, to create facts to begin with. Creation out of nothing is also completely unscientific, as all scientific evidence confirms things or entities are created out of or from something else. There is no scientific evidence whatsoever that a being can create something out of nothing, making the theistic option both unscientific and logically impossible. The third option is that the universe is God, otherwise known as pantheism. But pantheism is not logical, because if the universe is God, then the universe is eternal. And if the universe can thus be eternal, then there is no need to invoke a God to be conjoined or identical with it. That's not logical, since it violates the principle of parsimony. Further, pantheism is logically impossible since God cannot be identical with the universe. Since for God to escape contingency and be infinite, he must be a maximally great being. But a pantheistic God is not maximally great. Since a pantheistic God would be the universe, and the universe is not perfect, holy, or divine. The universe contains imperfection, evil, suffering, lust, and ignorance. None of this can be entailed in God, yet God still be a maximally great being. So pantheism cannot logically account for the universe. Further, the claim that the universe is identical to God is completely unscientific, as it cannot be scientifically substantiated that God is identical to the universe. That part cannot be scientifically proven or entail any objective scientific evidence. Since that claim cannot be scientifically verified or falsified, pantheism is not a scientific option to account for the universe. The fourth option is that God is the universe, but is also greater than the universe, or in other words, that the universe is contained within God, 
This suffers the same fatal pitfalls as pantheism, but adds the further problem that the universe is then just a thought in God's mind, since God is an immaterial mind. This would then destroy objective reality and objective meaning in life, making panentheism necessarily false as anything is that destroys objective reality. Panentheism is of course not logical, since God would entail imperfection, evil, contingency, and destruction since the universe is contained within God. This will make the panentheistic God not a maximally great being and thus logically untenable. And of course, the claim that the universe is contained within God is not scientific as it cannot be scientifically verified or falsified. And the fifth option is deism, which is, as far as accounting for the universe, the same as theism since, as far as I can tell, it poses that God created the universe out of nothing. If this is the case, it means deism runs into the same fatal logical and scientific pitfalls as theism. So the only scientific and logical option to account for the universe is that it is naturally eternal. This is scientific because observational evidence clearly proves the universe exists. We can scientifically investigate the universe and of course there is no scientific evidence that proves the universe is not eternal. The Big Bang Theory doesn't because it's based on general relativity which breaks down and becomes invalid at the quantum scale. The BVG theorem doesn't, since all it shows is that inflationary models require physics other than inflation to describe the past boundary of the inflating region of space-time. And the eternal universe is logical because it doesn't entail a quantitative infinity. Since the logical contradiction entailed in a quantitative infinity is predicated on asymmetric temporality, or in other words, continuous temporality, continuous time. But the eternal foundation of the universe, which is the quantum vacuum state, is not based on continuous temporality, but rather discrete temporality. Further, infinities do not apply to the universe, since the universe is a necessary being, given the fact that denial of the universe leads to self-contradiction.